can Italy back up that incredible performance in Lille, where they were the width of a post away from getting their first Six Nations win in France? Hello, amateurs. Welcome back to our Six Nations series, and I'll be with you throughout the championship and beyond. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now, after the second off week, we're going to be looking at what Italy team is going to be chosen to face Scotland this coming Saturday, the 9th of March in Rome. But before we get into that, we uh, Italy were, I think, really good last time out. They didn't get everything right, but their defence in the first half against a surging France was awesome. And they played some great stuff in the second half. The Capuozzo try capping off some incredible attacking play. Elko and myself went into that game in great detail. I'll link it up there for you. So go and check that one out if you haven't already to find out what we thought of this incredible game and the huge talking point at the end of it. Before we get into what I think the side will be, a couple of quick squad updates and what was a, an area of real weakness for Italy at the start of this championship, or inexperience, I should say. The propping department has been bolstered by the return of Cecciarelli, who started the first couple of games, and also Saracen's prop, Marco Riccioni, is back in the squad as well, which makes for quite a now a, a strong-looking propping sector. I think they've got four tight heads, though which is confusing me. So if somebody knows if one of these guys plays loose head as well, let me know in the comments down below. And also, huge news in the back row, back in training are Lorenzo Canoni and Big Seb Negri, both of them potentially in line to get back on the pitch this coming Saturday. Huge news for Italy. They were big misses um, when they got injured and I think they can get them back fit if they're looking healthy. You know, I think there could be a massive impact this weekend against Scotland. OK, let's get into the selection and starting with the players I think are guaranteed to, keep, guaranteed to keep their places from the previous round. Starting with the forwards, Nicotera at hooker has been playing well. No reason for him to drop out. A second row partnership of Nicola Canoni and, and Rutza are well established as the best pair in there. So I think they'll certainly stay along with Captain Lamoureux who I thought had a really good game last time out. Question marks about maybe Fischetti. Really struggled in the scrum against that enormous right-hand side of the French pack. Zalocchi, who, um, who I'm impressed with. I think he's super aggressive and he does a great job in the scrum. But with those other two guys coming back fit again, Cecciarelli and Riccioni, possibly he'll step aside. And in the back row, Favretto was launched in uh, as a six and... Uh, did OK. I think he looked a little bit lightweight in some phases, but that's no disgrace against that monstrous French pack. And there's Ross Vincent as well. And again, I thought he was excellent. But with Canoni and Negri coming back into contention, where will they go? Will they go with the keep the players that played really well last time out? Or will they bring in, back in their sort of star players, their big performers for another big game? This is what I think they'll do. I think they're going to go with Spagnolo to start. He, uh, I don't think he's started a game yet, but he's been so impressive from the bench. And I think the scrum was so much better when he was on in the second half. I know made, France made changes too, but I just think he's earned it now. He's young and he's a bull and I think he deserves a start. I think he's Italy's best loose head right now. And then I am going to stick with Zalocchi on the tight head. I'm so impressed with him. I think he's incredibly aggressive um, and I think he scrummages well. And he's a real beast around the pitch, and particularly in terms of his tackling. Into the back row, and this is where the difficulty comes, I think. Can you get Negri and Canoni both back in at the same time when Vincent and Lamoureux were so good last time out? These are the decisions that, you know, a lot's going to depend on how fit they are. How, up, you know, not up for it, but how ready to play they are. Because they might, you know, potentially have less than a full game in them each. And if so maybe start one and have the other one on the bench. That's what I think. That's what I think will happen, especially because Vincent was so good uh, on his starting debut last week. So I think they'll start with that. Seb Negri's big tackling to play a feature in the opening phases. OK, moving on to the backs. And again, the players I think are guaranteed to keep, guaranteed to keep their places from last time out. And it is absolutely everybody. I thought Pajarello was outstanding at scrum half. He looks quick. He looks strong. His tactical kicking was excellent. 
And I think, you know, based on what I've seen this championship and we've seen all three Italian scrum halves, I think he's probably the best playing for Lyon over in France. So, you know, he's he's got something about him. And then this three-quarter line really clicked at times against France. And uh, I see no reason to change it. Menocello is named on the wing, Mori at centre, but against France, they swapped around quite a lot. Menocello was often seen in the centres, flitting around, doing lots of different things and had a real quality game. So, yes, they're wearing those shirts, but I expect to see them move around depending on circumstances, depending on what they're trying to achieve. And Maury, you know, was his physical, you know, self in that game as well. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, these guys keep their shirts. Into Onto the bench, Lachese carries on at hooker. Fischetti moves back to Lucid. As I said, I think he's the only specialist Lucid they've got in the squad now, um, aside from Spagnolo, obviously. And we'll keep Ferrari on the bench as well. I thought he did a great job off the bench the previous game. So let's keep that the same. Zambonin continues on the bench. I think he's been there the entire championship. And we have to make room for Canoni to come in and keep Zuliani as well. So Canali, a second row replacement, misses out. But I expect Canoni and Zuliani to have a big impact from the bench. Varney, the scrum half replacement, although they could go with Garbisi as well. Varney hasn't played all that well, in my opinion, you know, compared to his levels. So potentially Garbisi might come in there, but I'm going to stick with Varney. And I thought Marin did a great job off the bench last time out as well. He looks really like instinctive. He just runs at holes, really good link player. So um, he certainly comes in as there as well for Italy because they definitely need fly half color cover now that Tommy Allen isn't part of the squad. Now, what I'd like to see from this Italy team is to just to go out with the passion that they had in the first half for tackling and the accuracy and the flow they had in the second half in their attacking play from the previous game against France. If they can combine all that together, then they could really prove a troublesome outfit for Scotland this coming Saturday in the first game of the this weekend's fixtures. But what do you think? Is this the team that you think Italy is going to pick? Is it the right team? Is it the team that is going to beat Scotland on Saturday? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll have a good friendly conversation there. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind while you're down there. It helps other people find it, which is good for everybody. And you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And don't forget to get out and play.